everybody, I'm Emmeline and welcome to my channel and welcome to this first current household video. So for my current household, I am currently doing the not so berry challenge and I am I am on the first generation, the mint generation and I know that her hair, my main character here, um, that her hair isn't really mint. Uh, in my opinion, it's mint is a bit more green -y colored. Uh, um, and her hair is a bit more teal, uh, but I just loved this hair, so I just went with it. And then her, oh, sorry, then her pants are a bit more minty instead. I was thinking about doing this kind of as a let's play instead of just playing it on my own. But the thing is, I already be like began doing the Not So Berry Challenge on my own, like by myself before. Um, like before I even started my channel and I already did the mint generation and I just really wanted to speed through it I didn't want to really redo anything um, and um, <clears throat> I've been playing with this family since like yesterday but I played all day yesterday because I was off so um, she is oh let me introduce you first this is uh, Tina Berry and um, Tina, you know, she has these uh, the traits that you need to have and the rules are For the first generation is that their favorite color is mint um, And they need to have these traits Her aspiration has to be the chief of mischief 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 um, and she has to mass she has to get like finish this aspiration she has to master the scientist career and she has to finish this what is it the periodic table um i finished this yesterday and i was so uh, i got so angry because i couldn't find this last piece um but then i did so i'm done with that i'm also like trying to get, you know, other collectibles, um, frogs, aliens, and, uh, these, uh, mycins, and it's going quite well, with, at least with, like, oh, it's going quite well with the frogs, too, uh, but with the mycins, but, you know, it's these four, in, like, the rare ones and the uncommon ones that, no, it's only the rare ones left. Yeah, it's a pain to get the rare ones, um, but I did finish the medals, well, except for these two, but I think these are in space, perhaps, and um, I'm almost done with the crystals, I finished the elements plus one, so it's going quite well for me in the collectibles part, but it's going quite well for me in the career as well, so I'm really close to finishing, yeah, the third, um, step of the chief of mischief mischief milestone aspiration and then i only have the le the last one left and that is uh it's, it's not so difficult um per se and um you know she's a level six scientist and it's the career that is a pain so um for the next generation uh, Tina here, or the mid generation, is allowed to have like as many kids as they want, um, but the next generation can only have one. But Tina needs to have a kid, one way or another, um, for her, you know, for me to be able to continue. And I've never been so unlucky with anyone. Like, I even made this little lady flirt with females because I was like, this isn't working out. Um, but it didn't work. But then I finally managed to find someone who it worked quite well with, but it was a real, real pain um, to, you know, make her start flirting with people because there are a few here, like this dude and um, Eva. Eva and Dana are two people that I made her try to flirt with. And then there were Hugo, maybe? I don't know. But yeah, also maybe I should show you her house. So this is just her house. Maybe you recognize it um, It's one of the base houses in Oasis Springs 
um, that you can get like a starter home uh, and then I just remodel it like we have a bunch of money and that is because I want to demolish this house at some point and get a new one with uh, more bedrooms because I suck at building and especially especially expanding houses so there's that um <laughs> but yeah oh <clears throat> my voice just left me uh but yeah um so this is pretty much where she lives it's nothing you know very special it's just a simple home uh, I do really like her bedroom I think it's really really cute nice I would love to live in this bedroom I was starting to think like maybe I should just adopt a kid because this isn't working out um, but then I uh, this is a guy that I placed in the uh, neighborhood because I am not too fond if maybe you know this I think I mentioned it in the beginning of my a to z baby challenge videos that I'm not too fond of the men that is like that e that is created by EA I don't really like how they look none of them really appeal to me it's not you know I, I kind of want you know somewhat pretty children and <laughs> pretty sims but yeah, uh, so I played Dane Curtis. His name was not Dane Curtis. I'm not sure who made him, so I, but I take no credit for Dane. Um, and like yesterday in Sims Days is finally, finally when they start hitting, started hitting it off. Maybe it was going so bad for her because I was really going super like on <laughs> Tina's career and... Um, all of this so she was working and the minute that she you know kind of maxed out <clears throat> the uh, bar on you know when she was working i sent her out like i made her leave the building and start running around getting collectibles when she came home she got all of the collectibles that is like scattered around like there's should be like yeah there's two over there and then a few over there and you know i made her run around and do all of that stuff until you know she was too tired, so then I just made her do some dinner and then sent her off to bed. So she was pretty much always sad because, you know, she didn't have any, like, social... In she never got social interactions, not even at work. Or Well, she did get a few, but not enough. So <laughs> there's that. Uh, so maybe that is the part why, like, I sometimes, sometimes I let her watch some TV when she was having her dinner. So, yeah, um, <laughs> but yeah, this is Tina. I think she's so pretty. Like, she is one of the cutest Sims I have ever played with. I, as I said, as I mentioned, I, like, did play or begin to play the Not So Berry Challenge before. Uh, but I kind of got bored with it. Like, I didn't really connect with my Sims. And then I got the Rose Baby. And I didn't really connect with that, like, with the baby either. So, it didn't quite work out for me. But, <laughs> well, it's working out great with Tina. So, um, yeah. I don't really know what else there is to say. I will demolish this house at some point. Or maybe just move her out. Like, you know, put this back in somewhat like um what is it a starter home price range thing renovate this house down a little but um so maybe we can put in put tina back here when she retires or something uh but yeah uh maybe i will just keep her in the household too i think it's really really unfortunate that you don't get the remains of your loved ones um, when they die like let's say she had a parent the parent died and considering she is my I'm you know playing on her she's my current household um, like if there is a relative that you're playing you know their remains should go in their inventory if they died off the lot because it's really really unfortunate like that they just vanish i have yet to find remains of of a sim that like died when you weren't there so i think that's really really unfortunate but yeah 
I don't really think there is <laughs> really that much to say. That is my current household. I will most, I will definitely, definitely update you guys whenever uh, my, I finally get this sim um, to have a child and when the next generation, the Rose generation, ages up to 18, I will show you what she looks like um, and what where we are. And then we will most definitely have a new house because there is no place for, for a baby in this little home, which is really, really, really cute. I love this. I think it's, I, I would love to live in it, but yeah, it, it's not big enough. <laughs> it's not big enough. But uh, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, then don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to comment down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And next to that, there is a little notification bell. Which will give you a notification every single time I upload a new video. Which is almost every Tuesday through Saturday. Take care and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!